Hi everyone, I'm going to do a first impressions video of the Merrill Norman products that I got in the mail yesterday. Um, the look I did today is using all Merrill Norman products. Um, the first thing that I tried was the anti-redness foundation primer and I really like this because I still get breakouts. Yes, I know I'm not a teenager anymore, but I still get breakouts especially along my nose and my chin. So it worked really well to kind of counteract the redness, so I really liked that. The next thing I used was the um, Expert Finish Makeup, and it's basically like a, a foundation in a compact, and it comes with an applicator, and I thought that that covered really well, and it wasn't a powder, it was like a creamy foundation, so I really liked that. The next thing that I applied was the Sheer Face Powder. I liked that it seemed colorless, but I didn't like the fragrance. Um, while you're applying it, it kind of tastes like perfume, and I'm not a big fan of my cosmetics having a fragrance, especially a flowery one. To it kind of tasted like I was eating flowers while I was doing my makeup. The next thing that I tried was the Warm Blush, and it comes in this little tiny compact, and it's a cream blush. It looks kind of purple here, but once you apply it, it's a warmer color. So it says warm blush looks cooler, but it is definitely a warmer blush. The next thing that I tried was the Cover Up Correcting Concealer. Um, I really like this one. It's a nice light color, so it helped with my contouring and also covering my um, under eye blue circles, which are genetic, so there's nothing I can do about them except find really good concealers. So that's a good product. The next one that I tried was the Liquid Shimmer. As you can see, it comes in a pump form, but I could not get the product out of the container, so I ended up cutting the bottom off and putting it in another container. So I wish that the pump worked. It would have been a lot more convenient, but it didn't work for me, so thumbs down for that packaging. Next was the eyeshadow primer, and this was another one. I could not get the product out of the tube. I tried massaging it and squeezing it and squeezing it, and this product will not come out of the tube. It just feels like it's a solid lump in there. So I had some issues with that one. The next one that I tried was the Merrill Norman Pro Pen Eyeliner. I'm a big fan of this one. It has a skinny felt tip and it's really good for getting exact lines. I like to do a semi-dramatic cat eye, nothing too wild. So this was really great for making these sharp lines. Next, I mean I curled my lashes, but next I tried the Wicked Lash Mascara. Amazing. So it is really good for lengthening and separating as you can see I think they almost look like false lashes so that's a good product this is definitely going to be one of my go-to mascaras and finally I use the automatic fine brow pencil and what I like about their product is when you buy it it comes in a two-pack so you don't just get one brow pencil you get two so that is a really good deal because I go through these things like crazy because I have to draw my brows on almost every day because my hair is so light. It looks like I don't have eyebrows even though I do. So I really like that they come in a set of two. And it doesn't come with the brow brush, but let's be honest, I never use it anyway. So two brow pencils for the price of one, good deal. So overall, I do like what I've used so far, with the exception of the primer and the liquid shimmer that I couldn't get out of the bottle. Um, but besides not being able to get it out from the bottle, the product is actually really nice. You can see that I use the highlighter on the bridge of my nose and cheekbones and right here above my lip. So it is a really good product if you can get it out of the tube. Um, so stay tuned for more videos using these products and remember to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys!